Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Informatica that is constraint based loading. This power center feature will help us to load multiple tables in a single session which is having database level primary and foreign key constraint that is parent child relationship. This option loads records first into parent table and after records into child table. Actually in the workflow manager we can specify the constraint based loading for a session. When we select this operation integration service orders the target load on row by row basis. First we will see one small example after that we will come for the rules for constraint based loading. Okay. Here I am having one table which contains both the employee and department records. I am going to segregate the employee and department into two different tables. Okay. So that we will uh, test this constraint based loading okay before that we have to import the source okay that is uh, very easy by using this we can do that and make sure that two tables need to be created at the database level and the constraints need to be created at both the tables here I am having one table named by EMP con and other name other uh, table name uh, department underscore con that means uh, I already am having one table EMP and DPT so in order to differentiate it I uh, given uh, the other name as underscore con that means constraint we can say okay here there is a relationship between the department constraint that is uh, department underscore con and EMP underscore con okay this we need to create at the uh, database level by using the script okay like this you have to use the script here uh, create table and that after that you have to add the primary key then foreign key you have to create accordingly and where it is Here I'm having notepad. I will show that this is for different table. Anyway, you can see that how to create that foreign key. Likewise, you have to create one table where the foreign key need to be set, and using this alter table, we can create the foreign key. Okay. After doing this, we need to drag it to the map, the source and target and we need to connect it to the uh, target like this uh, what are all the things required only we can connect in source call where I have, delete, I have deleted the uh, the other columns which is not required and uh, employee number is connected to here as the employee ID because in target we are having this employee ID actually and both are the same only the uh, data type there is no issue and uh, e name is connected over the here employee name and department number is connected and department name is for that we need to create one work workflow already I have created and we need to set uh, the connection properties and this already I have given that workflow is very easy to create and make sure that this is normal target load life and don't forget to click this insert we are going to insert the record Okay, now we is ready so that we can uh, run our workflow and here this is the, the target table and it is empty and department con is there that is also empty both are empty okay, now we are going to run the workflow and now it is uh, running actually okay around three records got loaded and 14 records loaded in the employee constraint 
we have to check because in the employee department table it has got around 14 records and uh, the department is only 3 actually so here three records are there so three uh, departments uh, got loaded in the department underscore con and we need to check the emp underscore con around 14 records should be there we can check the count actually uh, 14 okay so employee records loaded into the employee table and the department records loaded into the department for uh, one department there might be more than around four or five employees so the corresponding employees are loaded in the uh, that employee table here in deep uh, that uh, session we need to check one property called constraint based load ordering or enabling this uh, that uh, constraint based load ordering okay and we need to check this property and session log you can see that actually no, it has got enabled here the load constraints for target EMP gun target foreign key represents the primary key in department code. So this means that load con the constraints uh, the property has got enabled. Okay. Now this is the way you have to use the constraint based load ordering. And we will see what are the rules uh, rules for constraint based load ordering first there should be the key relationship that means when target tables have no relationship means the integration service does not perform the constraint based loading we need to we need the relationship between the two tables at the target level and it should be of active source both the parent and child table need to be mapped from a single active source such as the source qualifier aggregator etc then target connection group should be the same target connection group okay then treat rows as insert use constant based loading when the session of treat source process is set to insert for other things we cannot use this constant based load ordering these are all the rules you should remember for the constant based load ordering okay thanks bye